So, I have a quite aged laptop here. It's an Asus EPC901. It must be from 2007 or 2008. Uh, it comes with an Intel Atom processor, uh, which was not the fastest one when the netbook was released. It has a gigabyte of RAM and a 16 gigabyte uh, solid state disk. So it has no spinning parts and that was the reason why I bought it at the time because I use it quite regularly when I travel. So it's already a little bit damaged as we can see here. Uh, I think I came quite close to a candle. But uh, nevertheless, after a couple of years, uh, it needs a refresh, some new software onto it. But the problem is a 32-bit architecture. Quick switch to my other laptop to get some download media. As you probably know, all major Linux distributions have stopped the support for 32-bit hardware. Well, in case of OpenSUSE, this is not completely true. OpenSUSE offers two different flavors. First of all, the Leap, which is a standard release model focused on stability. And Tumbleweed, which is a rolling release, it is tested and stable as well for those who always need the newest software. Let's take a look at the download media. As we can see here, it offers a support for 32-bit hardware as well. So, we're going to download the smaller net installer and save it to our hard disk. This has only some 100 megabyte and loads most of the stuff it needs later on. So, once this is done, we can put it onto a USB stick by selecting a program called Image Writer. So the USB stick is already inserted as you can see. Now let's select the image. It's in a download directory. Image selected. And if I click right, I get a warning that all data on the USB stick will be erased. Yes, I know this. I have to enter the root password and then it gets put onto the USB stick. Let's jump over this step and go to the installation. So, I boot the laptop and while it does it, I press the escape button so the boot menu comes up and here I can select the USB drive. So I choose the installation and now it loads the kernel. some boot messages so now it starts loading uh, the base system from the internet um, I will skip over this so we come back when this is done so, after the installer has uh, loaded everything, the license agreement comes up. I can confirm this. And then it goes to the next step. It checks the system what hardware is available. Then it proposes to add some online repositories. Um, it's not really needed at the moment, so we can say no. So the initialization of the installation takes place now. So and now is a very important step because we can choose the system rule. 
We have a couple of roles predefined. One is, for example, a desktop with KDE, a desktop with GNOME, a generic desktop, a server pattern, and a so-called transactional server. Um, the pre-selection of desktops is great. My favorite is KDE, but this is a very, um, we, a very small machine, quite old one. So I choose the generic desktop and I can choose my desktop environment in a later step. So I click next. It makes a proposal on how to partition a disk. That is okay. We have only 16 gig or something like that and already a swap partition is existing from the old installation and the new installation will uh, get a new file system. So we check for the clock and the time zone and we have to create a user. I call him test. This is of course not really suitable for a live system later on but nevertheless um, there is a remark that this password is too simple I know this already but uh, for our purpose here that's okay so now we come to the installation overview and at that point in time um, we get a summary of all the settings as well as the software selection and now I can go and select my desktop environment here. Uh, unlike other distributions, uh, OpenSUSE offers you the full variety of desktops. So KDE, GNOME, MATE, Enlightenment, um, LXQT, LXDE, everything available. So a good compromise for such a, a weak machine in terms of performance and resp response is uh, the LXQT desktop. So I go for that one. I say OK. It updates the selection. I can confirm it. And on the pop-up that comes up, I can now choose to install the full system. That takes a while and we come back afterwards. So the installation is finished and the system automatically reboots and it shows up or it brings up uh, the new desktop. And as you can see here, it comes with a couple of pre-installed applications like the Featherpad, which is a small editor, the file manager. It brings everything that we need in the internet, the mailer, Falcon, uh, web browser, um, some other stuff, pulls audio volume control so we can increase or decrease uh, the volume, system tools, preferences, and uh, overall it's quite responsive considering the fact that we have a 32-bit processor here, Intel Atom, which was quite slow at the time when it was released, and we have only one gigabyte of RAM. So in other words, uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed offers you uh, the opportunity to revitalize your old hardware with modern software. Have fun and uh, take a look at OpenSUSE.org for all the news. Cheers.